seems like a lot. Like a lot. It seems like a lot. Do we need an intro, Mark? Hi. This is Uncle Mark's Outpost. Welcome. Episode, Episode 14. 14. No, 13. No, you the 12 and 13 are, yeah, no, there's 14 already. Okay. Episode 14. Well, today is a pretty exciting day. We're getting a spray foam team in, and they're going to spray the bottom of the outpost and seal it up tight. Keep it's going to be warm. Keep the rodents out and keep the heat in. Um, we've probably got, like, we're starting to feel feel summer fall ending like it's uh we've had some freezing nights already um and it, i think we've got probably two and a half weeks left maybe maybe three best case scenario mm -hmm. november 15th is the date yeah that's when he gets angry november 15th is when we're hoping to have as much done as possible so we got the guys from Fomatics over here we got referred to them by mike detoli and he said you guys should think about spray foaming the floor the big thing is for rodent protection um obviously we got the north ridge interior guys that did you know the walls and the ceiling but spray foam is you know an amazing i'm learning but it's a, it's an amazing way to insulate and uh yeah we're very thankful for mark and richard to come out from winnipeg um they're gonna come back and do some fishing with us yet but it's been um it's just been a race to get to get everything working to get everything down here and they are down here now and they're gonna spray foam i've got a couple projects i'm gonna show you as well that i'm i'm actually gonna contribute today other than filming yeah mark i put you on the spot oh. we need an introduction who are you what do you do uh, I'm Mark Cousel. I uh, own Fomatics. Uh, what do we do? We do spray foam, blow in, uh, insulation removal. That is basically uh, nice. The nut. What, what's the, what's the game plan for today? Uh, plan for today is uh, yank out 200 feet of hose. Yeah. Get underneath the cottage, and uh, spray three inches. Of three inches. That's pretty standard. Uh, yeah, for something like this, three inches uh, would work. Yeah. What makes spray foam, like, what makes it a good option for underneath compared to, you know, conventional? Well, spray foam will get into every nook and cranny, right? Yeah. So that's where it uh, outperforms traditional insula insulation. Yeah. So what's, what am I all going to see in the tub if I, or what am I going to see in the trailer if I stick my camera in there? Well, you'll see, uh, you'll see the chemicals. So you'll see the A side, the B side, the reactors. So it mixes those two, those two drums mixed together in the, in the tube or? Exactly. The two chemicals come together and creates the spray foam. Nice. And you said it's pink. It is pink. We asked for blue, but we'll steal with pink's okay. Yeah. That's our color. We <laughs> go with pink. Nice. Who else we got here? To Uncle Shane. Uncle Shane's outpost. What do you got to say? Not too much. It's a beautiful day out here. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. We got Matei. This is, is this your first time down here? First time out here. Thoughts? What do you think? Beautiful. We're doing okay? We, you guys are doing all right. Mark, Mark's the man. Mark. Look at him. He's literally just crawling on the ground to make this cabin happen. Mark, you're making it muddy. Look how nimble he is. <laughs> Look at his feet. <laughs> Good job, Mark. MVP. We should, we should name this cabin after you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this is where the magic happens. This is it. Go on in. We got Richard. What do you do? Are you the spray master? <laughs> Gonna try and be. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you got the full mask. This is intense. Yeah. Probably not great to breathe that stuff in. No, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's pretty lethal. So this is the A or this is the B? This is B. This is A. Catalyst resin. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. We don't have to move the trailer on shore. <laughs> that would be funny. So do the two chemicals react in the trailer? Or do they react it right here in there? Yeah. Yeah. And the line is heated as well because you got to keep temperature. Yeah. What's that? That's the airline to push it all out? No, that's for his mask. That's for oh wow. Airline for his mask. So that stuff's pretty bad to breathe in. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to be breathing it in. How long you figure it'll take to spray everything down here? I think about four hours. Yeah. Because so. well, in the in the real cold. Yeah, you don't want to be spraying. Uh, they say minus 10, but uh, once you hit that uh, zero mark, you want to be in the pluses. Yeah. If you can spray outdoors in the pluses, you're, you're, you're good. You're good, yeah. Nolan Bodie, I'm how was the siding? How many boards do you think you cut? Every single one. <laughs> Every single one, yeah. That's the right answer. Richard, look at that style. Is that Gucci or what is that? You're looking good. The snowman? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. 
So what's your role if he's underneath? My role is to keep an eye on the chemicals. Um, and when they start going low, then we got to switch over the- Switch tanks. Switch tanks, yep. The plan is we'll uh, we'll pull the hose as far as we can out that way and, uh, and start over there and uh, end up over here. Perfect. All right, well the geyser spray foam, as you can see everywhere that turns pink is where they've hit. So they're doing three inches everywhere other than the mechanical room doing four inches because that's gonna stay warm year round. Uh, I'm working on the Cat5 cables and connectors. A Cat5 cable is your ethernet cable. We are setting up some real link security cameras. We did one test camera the other day, but I need to put the ends on all these. So Papa Laverne, my dad showed me, lent me the tool and what I need. Basically just following a code of colors. And, um, and then we're gonna have four security cameras here hopefully by the end of the day. So I'm gonna check in with them later on the foaming, but I'm going to uh, crimp some of these connectors on and hopefully I get the order of the cables right and we've got security cameras that'll run 24 seven all the time. All right, let's actually do some work. I should take a donut. You want to pass me a donut, Mark? Before they get taken from me? Oh, options. This is a good life. Thank you. Did you grab one? Yep. What's going on, Uncle Mark? Putting up some pine. Putting up some pine. Pine day. Pine day. Cool. We got some security cameras going in. Yep, we got, we got uh, spray foam happening. Everything, everything. Three different projects. That's the beauty is we can have a lot of people here. We can all be working on different things. Cut twice, measure once, Bodhi. <laughs> it's my dad. My dad here. Look. I'm gonna set up a camera here. It's gonna film a time lapse of the pine going in. So this will make you hustle. All right, we're gonna go check in with the MVP, the hero of the day. How's it going down there? It's going. Half done, maybe? Uh, no, we got maybe an hour left. That's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Wow, you're crushing it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we just changed over, so we're on the home stretch now. Amazing. That is tough work. This guy's the man. I said, <laughs> you want to stop for lunch? And he's like, no, we're going to get the job done, and that's it. So Amazing. I guess we're going to have lunch at uh, 10 p.m. in the car on the way home. Oh, we're having lunch at 50K on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, I asked your dad to bring you along. I was gonna take you fishing while they were foaming. I'm just kidding. Anyways, Christian is a son. He watches the videos. One day, Christian and I will go fishing. And maybe we'll take your dad along too. <laughs> Back into the dungeon he goes. As you saw, the guys inside are crushing the tongue and groove, which looks so good. I mean, staining, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, an hour for the spray foam. And then I'm finishing the last security camera. I'm having issues with that one wire and I don't know if I kinked it or something happened, but. That one camera is cutting out on me and it's, I'm sure it's the ethernet cord because the other two are working perfect. So need to figure that out, but we're going to hang the fourth camera and then we'll go play with this one again. But all right, here's our real link back here. I'll try to get my handy dandy shelf without breaking the star link. We're going to clean this up yet, but I just want to start plugging these in for, so this is four cameras, actually three cameras. We do have four cameras though. Okay. So if I did things right, I should be able to view one camera right now. Real link. Oh, we got the camera hooked up. The Haber Vision 6000. He's running. Hey, hey, I just hey. need to adjust the angle. Well, we got a boat rolling in. It is Spencer. And Spencer's got a pretty cool gig right now. He is guiding the guys from In Fisherman TV. And uh, we'll, we'll go say hi. Hey, you gotta be on film. You're always behind the camera. Great, Introduce man. yourself. Who are you? I'm Dave. Dave, when's the last time we met? The first time we met, I guess. When you were 19 years old. A couple of years ago. Yeah, when you were up in Wollaston, yeah. guiding us. Exactly. Dave, how many years have you been cameraman for Fisherman? Uh, since about 95. 95, almost as long as I've been alive. He's been the cameraman for Fisherman. <laughs> I am the biggest Fisherman fangirl. I've watched Doug Stangy 
catch so many fish and this guy films so many of those catches. Anyways, Thomas Allen is filming a musky segment up on Lake of the Woods right now. Ideally, they would have been staying here. We didn't get it quite done in time, but they're fishing with Spencer. We'll go say hi to Thomas, but what, what do you think about this location? This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you guys could have found a better spot. Tucked away in the bay. Lake of the Woods. Yeah. So this, you guys are gonna have a chill. Yeah, we'll have you back once it's finished. Perfect. This would have been your bedroom, which is finished. But, I mean, it would have been okay. Oh yeah. But there's just a lot going on. We have the heater and stuff running in there, but. This is nice. And then here's Spencer's bedroom. This is where he was sleeping. So check the check out all of our, this is our battery bank, inverter, water system. Oh, wow. Look at the size of those. Yeah. This is just a fun project. I mean, it, yeah. all of this off grid, like you said. And yeah, I've learned a lot. Just thinking about it, but like on the flip side, just when this is all done. It's going to be sweet. Done this, it's going to be one of the coolest things ever. Well, you guys will come back. Thomas, introduce yourself. Hey, are Thomas you? Allen, uh, work within Fisherman. And uh, we are here at Lake of the Woods visiting Jay, trying to catch some muskies for a segment for In Fisherman TV. So far, we haven't caught anything, but uh, that's musky fishing. But yep. We wanted to go to get a quick tour of the off-grid cabin here at Uncle Mark's Outpost. We're, we're, awesome. we're going to have them staying here and we'll have them back because it was close. It was close, but I was like, it's not quite there. There's a lot going on, but uh, yeah, they're fishing with Spencer and hopefully, uh, they got they got lots of time. They'll get muskies. It's yeah. musky fishing. You just got to put in time, and it'll happen. But it's the right time of year, and it's it is. perfect right now. Oh I'm yeah! Surprised we haven't caught one yet. All right, I heard Richard's almost done. We're gonna go climb underneath and see what's going on. The day is coming to an end, but it's been a big day. Thank you guys. Yeah. yeah. So this is a small job in the scale of projects, sir. Uh, I'd say it's an average sized job. Yeah. So sometimes there's there's bigger ones, and, yeah. and then there's smaller ones, but. Uh, yeah, no, I think overall it went well. You might have passed out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap her up. <laughs>